Hi guys, Robbo46, and welcome yourselves back to MotoGP21 on the PS5. Yeah, we're back with MotoGP21 now. And oh boy, does it feel weird to play now after playing MotoGP22 for a little while. So, um, yeah, it's uh, going to take me a couple of laps to kind of get back into the swing of things, kind of get used to the physics of 21 compared to 22. Um, yeah, Buriram is the next race. Chang, and then we go to Phillip Island. So we've got a new frame upgrade as well, which is good. Um, there's no point in us doing it, any other upgrades. So, yeah, I think it's, we already know it's dry, don't we? Yes, we do know it's already dry, which is good. Right, let's go and see if I can get used to MotoGP 21 again. Okay, straight through to Q2. Uh, ninth quickest, though, so it's very, very tight. Uh, I was only half a second off. Um... Again, both factory Ducatis had to go through Q1. So, uh, yeah, that's that's not the first time that's happened this season. That's happened quite a few times, which is a bit weird, but never mind. Let's go qualify. Okay, I've yet to set a time that AI keep getting in the way or dive bombing me. Which isn't ideal. So 28-6 for Bang Iron out. That's going to be difficult to beat. Already three tenths off, which is not good. Because the first sector is usually our best sector. They made a bit of time up there, but we're going to lose more time through this sector. Yeah, we've lost more time. Point seven off, not great. Right, starting in sixth place. Top Yamaha. Top Yamaha, so I'll take that. The two factory Ducatis who had to go through Q1, first and second. Okay, let's do it. At least we're on the second row of the grid, that's not too bad. Right. 36 degrees, I've got to go medium, medium. Medium, medium. I should be fine. Right, okay. Here we go. Turn. Oh. Okay. Not the best run through turn one. My eyes just gone. So we're up to four. Oh, they were all a bit uneasy then, weren't they? Mir's actually in the way there. But he's going to get the inside of Zarko, is he? He's trying. Oh, he's on the curb again. This is going to be a tough race, I think. Not feeling that fast with the Yamaha around here.
Okay. That was good. Very good on the brakes. Mia, go on the curb again and mess yourself up. Oh, gone too wide myself. He did go on the curb, but I'd already messed up beforehand. Zarko's looking like he wants to win this one. Just feel like I haven't quite got the pace of the front three. Oh, here comes the leash. Oh. Well, Miller went down. Alicia nearly put me down on the ground as well. In fact, where has Alicia gone? Has he gone down? I didn't see if he went down or not, but he, uh... Oh. He tapped me. Nearly took me down. I tried to stay up and Miller was down. So Zarko leads, Mir in second, but now Mir is looking quite menacing. Oh, we've got Jorge Martin behind me now. I think we're going to struggle to get the podium this time. that was better but yeah the front two they've really gone front two have really gone can't do anything about them now too far behind unless they make mistakes which could happen That's not a good thing to do, is touch that curb. That the cat is going to have me. Not this time. No, he's just gone down. Okay. The Ducatis have struggled with that corner in this race. Don't know what it is, but they don't like that one. 
Zarko's got a bit of daylight between himself and uh, Mir now. So I think it's looking like Zarko has got this one in the bag. Vinales is catching me. We've got two laps to go. It says felt like a long race. So we've got Yamaha 3rd, 4th and 6th at the moment. Ennio Bastianini in 5th. Okay, reaching the end of the penultimate lap. Right, this is it, final lap. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I can't really use power map in three at the moment, otherwise we will run out. Someone's just gone down. So I just messed that up. Well, oh, Vinales is very close. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you dare. Third place. That's fine. That's fine. <sighs> yeah. Nowhere near their lap times. They were in the 28s. I was in the 29s. Miller was in the 28s, but he obviously crashed. Banyayo crashed as well. He was in the 28s. Luca Marini, he was in the 28s. There we go. Still on the podium. That's the main thing. And we extend our lead to 74 points. There's 75 points left on the table. So we could quite easily wrap up the title at the next race. Zarco, he's out of it. It's just between myself and my teammate Fabio Quattararo now. 202 points over Ducati in the team championship. We've wrapped that up. And then the uh, Constructors, 49 points. Still looking good in our favour at the moment, so that's fine. But yeah, back on the podium. Not too bad, considering I wasn't really feeling that fast. 
but we've done a good job. So next we've got Phillip Island, the tyre destroyer. All we got to do is, well, score some points and we should be fine. Yeah, that was a tough race, but we managed to hold our own. Quite a lot of crashes. Quite a lot of crashes. Okay. So, we've got a week free. One, two, three, four. Just about advance to the next week. Please be dry. Yes, it's dry. Okay. That's good. That's very good. Right. Can we wrap up the title at Phillip Island? Let's hope so. Again, straight through to Q2. Um, a little better this time. But, um, yeah. The, the factory Ducati's got straight through this time as well. So, my teammate was quickest overall. So, um, yeah, we need to do what we need to do. That... That made sense. Okay, Zarco quickest at the moment, 26.8. I've gambled with the soft rear. Come on, Yamaha, you should be at home at Phillip Island. A tenth off at the moment, that's fine. We're within touching distance, that's okay. There we go, we're under. But only just. Still only just under. Okay, twenty six eight to beat. There we go, twenty six five. From the front row, teammate. A little bit quicker by one whole tenth. Then we're joined by Bang Yaya in third. Zarko's fourth. Where's Miller? F 11th. Okay. Right. Can we do it? Can we get the championship? Let's find out. Right. All we've got to do is score a couple of points and we'll be good. I'm not going for a soft front. It won't last. Or well, neither with any of the other tyres. But medium, medium. Quattro's gone for a soft, soft. That... Well, it worked for him because he's an AI, but... Anyway. Here we go. Straight into the lead. Oh, Fabio. In very, very hot there. Oh, he's, he's got to basically win, hasn't he? He's got to win. As long as he doesn't take me out. Someone's gone down. Wasn't quite for our ropes. That's fine. Well, fine for him. Not so fine for me.
Oh, that was close. Nearly went into the back of me there. Again, he's looking. Mears up to third. He's coming through. I'll let him have it. Only because I didn't really want him behind me for too much longer, because otherwise he's going to do something silly. Okay, well, you leave the door open, I'm going to come through. Just like you are with me, maybe not. I had visions of him lunging there. He wasn't close enough. Okay. Down to turn 10. The horrible turn 10, but we're fine. Vinales has just crashed. How is his soft rear tyre lasting? That's what I don't understand. He's back through. We still lead over the line though. That's the main thing coming out of the final corner. He was a bit in the way there. That was a bit of a block pass. Wrong gear for me there. Oh, did he just have a moment? Oh, Mir's here. Jaron Mir has caught us both up. We did have a nice gap, but it's come down. Oh, Mir has bridged it more like. Mir, go away. This is between the two Yamahas. If I'd made that stick, that would have been a hell of a move. Oh, that was so close. Oh! Okay, well... We were nearly through in the final corner. Mir's going to have me now. Mir got two Yamahas for the price of one there. This is getting a bit... Getting a bit sketchy, isn't it? Fabio, stop, please. We're going to end up crashing if you're not careful. Or if I'm not careful. Go on then. Let me cut back underneath. All the while, Mir is now getting away. He was close to my rear then. Too wide. Hang on. Fabio's dropping back. I think his soft tyre might have gone off. Because Marquez is now fighting with him for a third. I'm 
Marquez has got Fabio. Fabio is in trouble. God, Mir was very wide then. Very wide. Just waiting for Marquez to come steaming up the inside. He's taken me out around here before. Usually through Lukey Heights. So we're going to have to go careful. Oh, I keep thinking Mir's going to go on the grass then. a bit of power map in three. My rear tyre on the left hand side is knackered. Fabio is being caught by more people. So we've got two laps to go including this one. Oh sorry Yamaha engine. I have done a race around here on the MotoGP 22 preview and the tyres did seem to last a bit better. A bit wide there. Okay, we've got one more lap. See if we can hold on to second. That was my best lap so far actually, and that was with a knackered tyre on the left hand side. So I go wide through turn one. I was expecting to see an orange Honda at the inside there, but it wasn't. Oh, thought he was going to do it there. No, there he goes up the inside. I can't do anything with the left hand side of the tyre. No. Nope. I'm quite happy to back out of that one. We've had it there before with Marquez and I came off worse. Oh, I've messed that up big time. Oh, if I hadn't messed up the final corner, we would have got second. But another third place. And we do secure the championship because Quattraro finished down in sixth. So he was struggling. He was struggling. Look at all these DNFs. I didn't realise that. Polo Spargo, Luca Marini, Savadori, both the factory Ducatis, and Nakagami all DNF'd. There we go, we've done it. 50 points left on the table, and we've got an 80 point lead. 220 point, 228 point lead over um, Ducati now, and 54 over Ducati and the constructors. Right, so over to Park Fermi again. There really hasn't been that many times this season where we've been off the podium. It's been a good season. 
definitely my strongest so far by a long way. I wasn't too sure about the Yamaha to begin with, but um, yeah, I kind of got used to it. And it's been competitive at most places, apart from Assen. So yeah, two more races to go with the Yamaha and then one more season to go with the factory Ducati team, which, I mean, you can probably already guess that we're going to win the constructors in their team championship with that bike and team. But let's see what we're like with the factory Ducati. We've already used a Ducati, which was the Sky VR46 Ducati. That was an absolute pig. So, um, yeah, it will be nice to compare it to the actual factory Ducati as well. All right. Sorry, I'm not signing with uh, Yamaha. We've already signed with Ducati. Don't know why I've done that. Right, standings for all three categories. Moto3, Pedro Costa leads away from Mazia, but that gap has really come down. Mazia is only six points behind now. Antonelli third, Darren Binder fourth, and Sergio Garcia fifth. Moto2, Sam Lowe's still leads away from Remy Gardner. Wow, Sam needed two more points to be able to secure that championship, but um, it's looking pretty good for him. Digi Antonio in third, Bezeki fourth, uh, Fernandez in fifth. And MotoGP, we have wrapped up the title. We've got an 80-point lead over Quattararo now with Zarco in third, Jack Miller fourth, and Bangyaya in fifth. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I'll just see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to stay safe, watch hands, look after yourselves. See you guys next time. See you!